Well, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folani. Hope you had a great weekend. Yeah, when we always talk about the polity, mm, you know, right now, it's, uh, let's look at it, the 2019 is just round the corner. There's a whole matter about who or who will not contest, whether CNM coalition, CMN, Coalition Movement of Nigeria, that's uh, former President Obasan Joe's initiative, will indeed become a political party because there are those who are saying that is the ultimate objective to transform itself into a political party. But then we'll see how many takers there will be. Okay, my guest this morning is Dr. Tunji Abayomi, constitutional lawyer and professional in politics. <laughs> yes. uh, we're, we're glad to have you, Dr. Abayomi. <laughs> We've been chasing you all over the country in the <laughs> past you. two well, weeks, well, as well, you well, know. Well. We finally <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. Well, <laughs> Thank you very much. Good morning. Oh, daddy. Now, what exactly um, is your take on this? Because papers this morning are telling us that uh, of the 36 governors, uh, only 13 so far uh, are looking like they've uh, adopted... Um, uh, CMN, I've got to get used to that acronym, CMN, Obasan just CMN. Um, the thinking seems to be that, look, uh, according to what they, what they call informed sources, uh, we're not quite sure, you know, we'd, be we'd better stay here and um, take our destiny into our hands and fight on known ground, as opposed to going out and fighting. Uh, so, if that is the case, what the exhortation of Obasan just sometimes, somehow, couldn't reach the majority of the governors? Well, you know, President Obasanjo and I were close enough. Mm. Uh, oh, you were his lawyers on yes, so many occasions, so, many so close, close I'm, interaction. I'm still close to him mm -hmm. somewhat. But, in my view, any leader is entitled to go on what I call a voyage of discovery. Uh, but that has nothing to do with the movement of politics okay. in any nation. Politics is guided by rules, by laws, and by interests. Uh, in terms of coalition and so on and so mm -hmm. forth, more or less like an NGO, you're free to go, do whatever. Presently, we have two new ones. We have one initiated by President Olusha Basanjo, former president, mm. who governed two times. And some people also wanted him to run for the third term, contrary to the Constitution. Yes. We also have one that is initiated by my friend and lawyer, Olisa Bakoba. He has another one that puts together in the interest of Nigeria. They are claiming to be working in the interest of Nigeria. I could also initiate one in my <laughs> house <laughs> in the interest of Nigeria. But all of that has nothing to do with the battle for political leadership of this country. It is not a joke. And I'm sure President Obasanjo knows that. He once told me, for example, that you go into politics to win, to win power. So, in fact, he famously said um, it's a do or die affair, yes. although he probably didn't mean it to, to yes. be taken the way it was then taken. Yes. He told me you go into politics to win power. Okay. So we are now talking of power, and it's not something that you uh, loosely handle one year before presidential election. Like I said in the post, in my post on Facebook, okay, yeah. I said, look, people should just keep shouting, stop shouting about Buhari should not run, Buhari should not run. That's not the issue that pre pre preoccupies the people of Nigeria. You should tell us who should run. When we know who you want to run, we will know whether Buhari, by our votes, mm -hmm. whether you, or our advice, whichever. Because Telling us he shouldn't run, he shouldn't, it's not significant. You can always decide that by voting against him. Exactly, okay. Mm -hmm. Just as some people want him to run. So the voice of one single person as to whether he should run, he shouldn't run, should not be the issue. If you feel Buhari should not run, for one, Buhari has constitutional right to run. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of people who want him to run. So if you don't want Buhari to run, 
you can mobilize interest to vote against him. There's even no need for advice. You just act. It's Wale Shoyinka who said, a tiger does not proclaim his tigritude. Tigri he mm. demonstrates it. Mm -hmm. So you can demonstrate your tigritude <laughs> or your political could to yes, whichever. Yes, yes. By, by mobilizing voting. against yes. him, if so, you can. You know, there's no point all this dialogue as to whether you should or should or I'm not interested in that kind of dialogue. Well, they can't come up with, 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 with a suggestion as to who should run because President Obasanjo gives the impression that this is very altruistic. It's nothing to do with me. It's about my beloved country and I can't sit by and watch it you know, teetering at the precipice. Very well. But let us also understand that the president is about Nigeria, even much more so. President Obasanjo was our president at least three times, one military mm -hmm. and two civilian. Mm. I'm sure he, he was all about Nigeria, more, at least he saw himself much more about Nigeria than any other citizen of this country. In the same manner, President Buhari sees himself uh, about Nigeria. And again, if we look at an issue that we are talking about, one of the issues that was raised by President Olusha Gomes Basanjo was appointment uh, yes, and so on yes, and so yes. forth. And then, but <laughs> should we also remember that one of the reasons why Obasanjo President Obasanjo was particularly not loved, so to say, among the Yoruba people was because they felt that he didn't care enough about Yoruba people. He didn't put them in position of uh, <laughs> maybe he, he's not ethnic yes, enough yes, yes. in their calculation. Mm -hmm. That was one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. Remember President Obasanjo said he wasn't a Yoruba president, he yes. was a Nigerian president. Mm. And the Yoruba people didn't like that. They yes. felt that he didn't need to say that, mm -hmm. even if it wasn't for us. In any case, they felt that the equation of Nigeria is the struggle of the nationalities. And therefore, even if it's not going to totally support us, it should substantially show interest. Mm -hmm. So if you now say that President Buhari is showing a little bit of more interest for his people, and you are condemning him, and Obasan George didn't show interest for his people, <laughs> and he was condemned. So who there is to be favored? <laughs> you know that? Yeah, 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 <laughs> Mind yeah. you, this whole issue transcends all the way to the local government level. If you are the chairman of a local government and you don't do anything for your people, they will tell you, okay, when you finish, you will come back to this house. We will see. That's right. So, and Buhari has said, he will look at this issue, That's right. which I think is significant for the pre a president. It shows some level of humility that he will look at this. There was a time we were screaming about the East. He didn't favor the East. When the statistics came out, he showed that this guy, he said, look, of the, of the, about something, pre all, the, all the ministers are substantive ministers from the East. They didn't vote for me. Look at this. The person in charge of um, stock market did this and this and this. When you look at the statistics, we don't hear that voice anymore. Mm. So let us be fair in our judgment. Let us not be anxious to condemn. Governance is a difficult endeavor. Politics is a complex and complicated, confusing Enterprise. Could that be what might have been on former President Abbasanjo's mind when he uh, charged uh, the president with not understanding the dynamics of uh, internal politics, as he put it? Well, how can we say he doesn't understand the dynamics? Is just as properly situated as President Olusha Gombasanjo. He was former head of state. He had commanded in all over this country, lived everywhere. He was head of NNPC. He has been a, go a governor, a military governor. What more do you need? And 
People keep talking about it. He doesn't understand what. If he doesn't understand, will he know that corruption mm -hmm. will kill Nigeria if mm -hmm. Nigeria does not kill corruption? Mm -hmm. Those who understood, why didn't they fight against corruption? The greatest neurosis that this Nigeria faces. We are where we are today because the leaders of the past refused to deal with the greatest neurosis of this nation, corruption. That's why this nation is down, down, low, 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 below. But, but Abbas Njo will probably say something like, look, EFCC, it, this is an initiative. Uh, we, we, we ju they just wanted to fight corruption. You know, we, 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 I think he will actually take credit if the opportunity is given for, um, you know, contributing his widow's might, as it were, to the whole issue the of fighting corruption. The greatest way to contribute your widow's, widow's might to corruption in fight, this fight. To the fight of to the fight for corruption in this nation, is not just by your proclamation; it's by your personal life. Okay, that speaks louder than what. Why? Now, do that's a delicate one you got there, right there. Why? That, that why if you have to look at the personal yes. life, which yes. it's it, quite frankly very few Take, leaders yes. can actually, you know, you know. When you have a leader that loves, I'm not saying Olusha Gombasanjo. I'm not talking about any person now. But when you have leaders that loathe discipline in office, who did not impose on them higher standard than they expect from their followers, they cannot teach the people any lesson. Let me tell you, one of the reasons, personally, why I respect Buhari, uh, we, we were in the human rights community and we fought him in the area of concern for the rights of citizens when he was military government. Mm. We fought him to a standstill. But when it comes to responsibility to the public office in this country, this man has no equal, no equal. And the greatest problem of Nigeria is how the leaders of this nation that develop us through their greed and irresponsibility, people in leadership. I have said in my book, State and Citizens, that while it is true in the West that the people get the leaders they want and that in all probability the, lead, the people will raise the <coughs> leaders, in developing nations like Africa, it is the leaders that raise the people exactly. by their action. Mm -hmm. They control and command and direct and influence and inspire the people how they will go. But in our nation, when we don't have leaders that are strong enough to stand up for something, when we have leaders that fall for just anything, you don't make any progress. That's where we are today. How can Nigeria be where it is today? The people of the nation are angry. Well, when you say this and that, Previous leaders, you know, have actually not done as much as they might have been able to do. Um, I don't know. Following Obasanjo's letter, you know, public letter, really, and all of that. Yeah. Uh, well, the president has actually made some initiatives. Yeah. Uh, the state of a of the party, the ruling party, APC. Yeah. The president actually admitted you know, in his action that, look, uh, I want you to fix this for me, you know, this whole yes. matter. Now, immediately you begin to hear commentary that it's a, it's a, it's a virtually impossible assignment. Yes. Uh, people phoned into the program when we were talking about this last week and they had different opinions. I wouldn't, t uh, talking to Ashwaiju, yes. I wouldn't touch that assignment, yes, you know, yes. that kind of a thing. So all of this is going on. Yes. Well, uh, they, uh, he's having some effect. And by the way, remember that Obama just says that uh, he thinks this, this country really belongs to the youth. And so he was, as it were, encouraging the youth to, to, to rise up and, uh, you know, step into their place and uh, take their, comp uh, their country back and all of that. Uh, how much of this washes with you? What is youth? I, put, paid, I posted it. On Facebook, I said, people keep talking, you, 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 you. I said, but I'm old. <laughs> but I have stood 
for certain principle, unalterably, because I believe things should be done well, and I am old. But look at the youths in the university, the university of youths. Mm. What do we have? Cultism, raping, intimidation, fraud, all sorts of things. Yes, but, look, but, 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 that, but, but, but that, that's not the general picture of our youth. Okay. There are those who, as it were, are spoiling the fold by those things you Why? just talked about. The but they're not the majority. The, the same thing with the old. There are those who are also spoiling it. The issue is not whether youth or old or middle age. But the content of our the, character. The content of our character, the, 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 the profile, the, the content of the character of the person, the person in office, just as it is, some people are old at 60. Mm -hmm. Some people are young at 75. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's the issue. Mm. So the point that is essential is what do we st does the leader stand for? Now, those people that said it's an impossible task, well, maybe it's impossible. People said it was impossible to fly the aeroplane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Didn't the brothers, mm, the, the right brothers, the right brothers, didn't they fly <coughs> <coughs> the aeroplane? People said it was impossible. They never conceived that it would go into the moon. Didn't people get into the moon? There was even a time in the history of evolutionary progression, knowledge, the history of knowledge, when the belief that was that the world was round. You understand what I mean? And Galilee was to be stoned. Because right. it was prom promoted, yes. new mm. idea that mm. the world was actually not trying, it's, it's very cool. Mm. So, if it is impossible, then let strong mind like Ashiwaju make it possible. Not everybody in APC, according to the talk, is happy with the choice of the president for this particular assignment. Yes. Understandably, perhaps, yes. because, I mean, Ashiwaju, quite frankly, doesn't need anybody's promotion, so to speak. But yeah. this being said, and this assignment being thrust on him, yes. uh, it, it does project him in a certain kind of way that probably makes some within APC jittery. Yes. I don't know whether rightly well, or wrongly. Well, it is true, but let us, again, the president obviously must have looked at some very essential factors in deciding who should reconcile. First of all, it must be somebody who has strong political experience. Mm -hmm. It must be somebody who has sound political intuition. It must be somebody who has high profile of respectability and influence. It must be somebody who has intelligence and communicative capacity. And if we look at that, I think that you will agree with me that Ashiwaju is a very... He's very, if it's well, the bill. very well positioned, mm. then it must be somebody that the president can depend on, who can dialogue with the president, okay. and the president can also depend on, on. In other words, someone the president trusts. Yes, somebody that the president. Now, if you look at the firmament, political firmament, who really is higher than him for this important assignment? He has been an important influence in the building of the party. He has been an essential factor in the evolution of political offices. He has also been important in the division. Let us <laughs> <laughs> understand that. How's that? How's that? Ah, well, the you part. know, we know these issues now. I'm from <laughs> Undo State. <laughs> I'm from Undo State. You know, Nashiwaju is my friend. Yes. I personally even had confrontation with him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with regard to Undo State. So if now you want to discuss resolution of the conflicts and clatters of politics in Undo State, who else can do it? Who can talk to me? <laughs> Who can I talk to? Mm. So these are the issues. I believe that the choice of the president, to my mind, appears to make sense. Well, you, you've just said, uh, Dr. Bayomi, that look, yes. so many instances of things people thought impossible coming to pass. So really, you, you, you don't like, apparently, that word impossibility. Yes. Yeah. Um, 
uh, but there are those who are saying that the time at hand, yes. the time available for the assignment, um, they, 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 they are a bit um, anxious as to whether it is enough. Yes. Uh, I don't know what you think about that idea. Yeah, but so it's, it's one thing to hand a person a job, yes. but uh, he has to have enough time to do it depending on the magnitude of the job. Well, I'm pretty sure Ashiwaju will not be like PDP, who will be going to people who have already crossed to another party to try and bring them back. <laughs> I don't think yeah. the exercise yeah. is in yeah. futility. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. within our party, those who are still in the party, you understand? It is not like a party does not have stature or standing, but those who feel not happy enough, there will be a need to listen to them and see what can be done. Okay. That's the idea. The yeah. idea is not to force anybody to stay. You can go, the party will still remain. When people left the last time, we won election, I mean, so that's the issue, but I believe that a happy party has a greater chance to raise political leadership, that winnable political leadership, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than an unhappy mm -hmm. party. Mm -hmm. And in any case, the president may not, in his prestigious position, office, know some of essential issues that give political people pain. So, actually, while you've been a politician, we'll be able to I've see... Being quite close to the yes, grassroots. Yes, and you know, because of his knowledge... Despite of his understand. national stature, yes. being close to the grassroots. He will in, be able to see the, the story behind the story. He's also, he's also going to have to put on a different cap for this assignment. Yes. You spoke about Ashwaju himself, mm -hmm. uh, unifier as he is. Also, there are instances where, you know, he was... He also understands the language he, he of was division. Part, uh, thank you. He, he understands understand what of, division, of division is. Yes, yes exactly. He understands so, what hurts people. Yes. So now he's going to have to be working selflessly because this now cuts across all opinions, yes. all borders, yes. uh, psychological borders yes. within the party. Um, in the interest of the common good. Yes, yes. Now, PDP has those who are, I mean, I beg your pardon, APC has those who are, you know, disgruntled for one yes. reason or the other. Yes. That's on one side. Yes. But then there are also, quote unquote, enemies within. Yes. Those who act essentially like, you know, in short, they relieve the opposition party of their burden by doing a lot of the work yes. themselves, by their conduct, by yes. their utterances. Yes. Uh, so these are forces that are going to have to be what is the word is the word appeased yes. uh, or, 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 or is it uh, taken into consideration yeah, and how about people who don't want to buy what you've got to sell because they, from the day, from day one they never believed in the concept of APC. Well, you cannot win. But are now in very high office under APC. Yes, you cannot win everybody, but you will make effort to win everybody. So you now win the winnable okay. and leave the unwinnable to go on their own voyage. Now, it is not possible to have every person in political office holding allegiance to their own party. Okay. What you pray for is that you don't have overwhelming enemies within. <laughs> you know, Judas is there. Judas is carried out of his... Uh, a disciple of Jesus Christ, but the important thing is that it was one as against the others. So Jesus was still able to do what he wanted to do. I think that is what is prayed for. There's no way you can have a situation where everybody, you know. But I think that some of the issues, it's not just a question of reconciling the party, it's also reconciling issues. Because if we look at some of the issues that is dominating discourse now, you take Hasman, mm -hmm. this issue of um, mm -hmm. cow or something. Look, this is a very delicate and difficult issue. Somebody was telling me, I was discussing with somebody this morning, I was telling me, Yoruba man, that people don't understand how difficult and delicate this issue That these Fulanis don't have what you might call residency, they don't have home. They move, and they have been moving for time immemorial. Mm. 
And as far as they are moving, they, they move in the forest. In the forest, that obviously don't, they don't see as belonging to anybody. They move, they, 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 they are cows, move them. And that is their livelihood. People now say that, look, you are changing the whole thing. It's something that is, you are bringing a, a sort of a revolution of some kind. So there is a need to have hold some understanding about this issue. On the other hand, when you are moving your car, you are, they are destroying farmers. Exactly. Dis destroying the livelihood, the livelihood of others, of the, the investment of others the, the with your investment. Not only that, in, in one of my posts against the position of the minister for defense, he said it's because um, they the, the are out, it's blocked, and so on. And, so on and, and I said to him, what is he really talking about? They are out on my land without my permission. Mm. It's blocked. Don't I have a right to block exactly. your trespass on my land without my permission? Or are you now saying that the, my land that you gave to yourself, I'm bound to accept it? So... But the, the, this issue emphasizes the delicacy of the problem. But it also emphasizes, does it not, Dr. Bayomi, yes. that there are laws in this country mm -hmm. and everybody, bar none, has to obey those laws. So you've just explained one of the more obvious aspects of it. Yes. So what's this whole difficult aspect of... Oh, for centuries, Fulanis have been nomads. Um, they think uh, their roots belong to nobody. And so we have to be very delicate and understand this. Hello, this is 2018. Yes, it is true. But put yourself in the position of that Fulani herdsman mm -hmm. who moves from forest to forest. His whole livelihood is about those cows. His whole existence okay. Okay. is about... Now you make a law that essentially makes that existence impossible. That's on the one side. Now put yourself in the position of a farmer. His whole life too, an existence, mm -hmm. is about the farming. Mm -hmm. So now we have two delicate situations. Because people are beginning to say we will defend ourselves. Yes. The uh, Ari Onokakam for the other day of uh, Yoruba land said that, look, the way things are, we we are going to be able to take, we will take measures to defend I our I think people. the main problem is that this issue should have been handled at the early stage. Okay. When the initial conf con confrontation and conflicts between farmers and herdsmen began several years ago. Way before this Don't administration, Don't forget that under right? Jonathan, yes. a senator was alleged to have been killed by uh, has men and so on and so this thing has been going on for years at that initial stage if not decades yes we should have started to do how can we resolve this problem Niccolo Machiavelli in the prince said when problem began if we don't deal with them it soon mm -hmm. overwhelms you mm -hmm. and it becomes like cancer mm -hmm. like Spread. wasting disease Spread. where in the early stage, it is difficult to detect, but early to cure. But when it is at the late stage, it is easy to detect, but difficult to mm, cure. Mm. The only reason why we are saying so much now is because the problem has overwhelmed, has almost overwhelmed us. Because so many things are going into it. Uh, you know, these uh, forests are now reduced. What do you call it? Um, global, yes, global, global, global warming. warming. Yeah. So many things are making it impossible. And these this cow, cows are moving all over the place. Yeah. Don't forget that this So And the ideas of ranching and all of this that have been suggested. Have not been developed. Because I was going to say, people are not even considering it. They, they didn't saying, consider leave it. Leave it the way it is. Precisely. Which is destructive. Because good it government. It only one side. This is it. Good government see into the future. Okay. It's like Newton said. Mm. If I have seen further than others, it's because I stand on the shoulders of giants. And if we look at it, if we stand on the shoulders of giants, you will see further than the others. But the problem of our leaders is that because they are always preoccupied with self-interest, always self-interest, how they will amass wealth, yes. how will they will build big houses, how they will be, become famous, how they will dish out public money as if it is their money, how they will do all other things. 
to satisfy their ego. They didn't look into the future of the nation, see the problems. Let's go on a break at this point, uh, yes. Dr. Bayami. We'll come back and then, of course, we'll open the phones as well. Stay with us, please. Welcome back, and um, Mazi Okorafo is waiting on the line already. Good morning, Mazi. Good morning, Sayori. Good morning, Vice President. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, uh, yeah, 2019, OBJ Collection Force will not yield any fruitful ingredients for Nigerian democracy. You see, Nigerians are tired of recycling of politicians. Everything we recycle, recycle, backward, forward. Mm -hmm. Let's look into our states, the local government. Get a level of steering and are ready to do what? To work for the public. Yeah. Because these are the major areas we have to see. Because some, when I come to my own state, I go to other states and see some things, I start wondering. Now, look at the major roads that we are supposed to we are to. Look at our university, the lecturers, yes. the non academic they are still on strike over two months. And nobody talking about that. What you are talking about, politics, politics, because is that how we are going to move forward? Tomorrow now, uh, American people will sit down and say Nigeria and Bush and they will continue to uh, move in. We believe on chop and chop, chop and go. That is not just also. Nigeria should think wise, like uh, the Ogara and this The youth are ready to work. Because not all youth are bad ones. There are good ones that are ready to work together with the present government. We move forward. Thank you very much for the day in Lagos. Indeed. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi, yes, for calling in. And that is the issue. The, but apart from that, let us also say something. The Nigerian people should be serious. It's not just always about leadership, leadership, leadership. The people of Nigeria need to be serious about their country. What do they want Nigeria to be? But you also said earlier that they need leadership. They need people who will show by their actions, yes. by their conduct, yes. by their lifestyle yes, and I utterances do. what the ideal is. I do completely agree with you, and I say that. I also say that they need to also be good followers. They need to be okay, good the followers. People. The people need to be good followers. Our people don't work. Our people are not anxious about racing this nation to greatness. Our people are interested in corruption. Yeah, that's the example you, they're getting. You, you know. Because poli po politics, I don't know how that is going to change. <coughs> politics in this country means that you were, look, let us say it, a pauper before. Yes. Then you had patronage, yes. and suddenly you start becoming multiple. Oh, but those who didn't, do, I ran for politics <laughs> in mm -hmm. my something, yes. and I refused to bribe anybody. I refused to to buy delegates mm -hmm. to pay for them. I refused mm. to put them in the hotel and feed them for one week so that they can vote for me. Mm -hmm. So what did I get? And so you didn't win. So I got five votes. Yes. <laughs> you understand what uh -huh. I mean? Now so, what does that say? That speaks volumes. How could they say, how could they give me five votes after all the sacrifice I make? Uh -huh. So, okay. I have gone so you're going back to the people. people. Say we the people. This is it. We're They're going back to the people. Kunu. They know I have fought battles. You know for this, the ordinary people. You know this happened to the late uh, and great uh, Ganefa we meeting. Yes. So, so, uh, so it, the it, point, that's why I say the people themselves, you know, I gave an example in my own hometown. I told them, look, when we fought for democracy, people like Ghana, if I'm all over, we were going to jail. It's because we saw that our people have nothing. But if we can win democracy for them, election for them, and they can vote, they can bring down bad leaders mm -hmm. and raise their children who have compassion mm -hmm. for them and mm -hmm. raise them to a position of honor. But the oligarchy, the corrupt ones, know the mentality of the people. So they stole all the money and they, 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 they put it before them. And the, and, the average Nigerian, and the average Nigerian is not going to shun money even if it is corrupt money. This is it. It's not going to shun it. They will, the money comes first. 
when you have a nation and there are people who are more interested in money before knowledge, when you have a nation where the people have greater interest in acquisition instead of creation. Because, because people feel, I guess, that this society is not going to do anything for you. Unlike our children, our siblings are running abroad because they know you don't have to be a big man, you don't have to be well connected. The social system in there, they're not going to watch you ordinarily start stepping on the street. So, so the people... So, the, so people so, are deciding that, look, this country, you know, sir, you, got to, you want to build a house, you build your, you build your own road, you, build, you, 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 you sink your own well, you put your own generator. Yes. So people constantly say that, yes. that this society is not going to take off care of anybody. So until someone or an administration comes along yes. that begins to show that we're sincere about yes. addressing these issues, so it's how, be a problem. So how, first and foremost, if we continue in this path, how are you going to get to where you want to get? Mm. If you continue in the path of dishonor, how are you going to get to the end of honor? Yeah, but Abbas Nigeria doesn't see his path as that of dishonor. He sees it as path of, now I'm going to rescue this country. Is it not the same rubbish. people? Is it not the same people? <laughs> Yakub, good morning. Thank you for holding on. The people is calling. Is it yeah, not the same good morning, people? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you for calling in. Good morning to Dr. Abayoni. Good morning, I, I always enjoy Dr. Abayoni any time that he has on this uh, station. Thank you. Because we always uh, learn a lot from him. Yes. Having said that, Chief Jory, uh, another look to a coalition by calling by the former president. Dr. Abayoni has a very valid uh, question earlier in this question that if you are telling us that the President Muhammad Bubari should not run, Dr. Abayoni asked who? It's a big question. Who is that person? Yes, if you not bring that person, yeah. and then the person make let us know that he has intention to become the president of this country, who are not put both of them, President Muhammad Dubai and <coughs> that person side by side, and then he's not left to Nigeria exactly. to decide who to go for. Yes. That's number one. Number two, the job that they give to Ashwa Dubai Ahmed Tinubu is a very, very delicate uh, job. But I believe, as uh, Dr. Abayami said earlier, he has the first time knowledge to, to succeed of that job. And then the question is that, if uh, Ashwan Bola and Tinubu succeed, I can tell you, the following day, the following week, the following month, you will see people will move from the PDP back to the APC. You know why I say so? Uh, let me give you a valid uh, uh, example here. If you see today's Ashwan uh, Bola and Tinubu I'm be able to bring uh, Ganduje and Kwan Kwanso together. And they can be able to bring Erufai and Sheh Usani together. He can be able to bring the Dino Melaya of the water and Yaya Beno together. And they even in a good state here, Yaya and Amosu together. Because as they live on the ground in a good state as well. A lot of states that governed by APC, there's a small small risk to be going on there. If I trust Bola and Metinu, because of the knowledge that he has, it can be able to succeed and bring those people back together into the party and then work together. I can tell you, some of the people in the PDP, they will come back. Even the people that they want to coalition for Nigeria movement or whatever, they will come back to the APC and then be able to fight for some kind of a political leader in that party. Mm. I would say that, Kijori, this country is for we Nigerians to decide yes. who to govern us. Exactly. I'm talking about your mission. You get only five votes. If I would be an Odo State in DG, I would vote for somebody like Dr. Bayoni. You know why? Because this is a perfect fight for democracy. And then the people that stole this country well, they use the same, the same money that they took from us, and then and these people are paying them to be able to get to the power. Mm. As we want to get a very good governance, you cannot get it. When okay. you cannot vote for Dr. Bayoni okay. of this world, that's okay. not what you need. All right. You, for, you get only five votes. Imagine. Thank you very much. Five, five, five honorable votes. Five honorable votes. Thank you very much. <laughs> so what Yakub just said in yes. there was that if he had been there, uh, part mm -hmm. of the electorate in Ondo, mm -hmm. um, um, he would do the rational yes. thing. Yes. And so since when did human beings begin to be rational? Yes. No, they, 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 at, this, at the same time, human beings cannot be totally irrational. But when, when, as you said, you get five votes yes. for all your efforts. You see, here is the situation, Yori. If we have more people who are willing to stand for something like me, mm -hmm. more people, more followers, okay. 
will be able to stand for something. Yeah. That's how leadership influences followership. If we have more people, let me give you a simple example. A few weeks ago, I was coming out of my house, Omole Phase 2. Now, you are supposed to go around in order to enter from Hotel Dollar. But when you are going out, you go straight. Because going straight is short. Mm -hmm. So when you are coming from the express mm -hmm. road, there is this driver, this fine car, and uh, with his uh, guy in the car, and he just goes straight. Yes. Instead of going all the way down, turn around. Yes. And I just blocked him. He thought I was joking. I said, you go back. People were screaming. Eh, I you know people are yes, coming. Now. Yes, they now. were screaming, I should leave. I didn't. First and foremost, the people that are screaming should have joined me. Yes. To stop that, that, that nuisance. Yes. That's number one. The but first they will say something like, go mean now. Yes, go they, mean. They, 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 are more, they are more anxious in their personal interest instead of general well-being. Yeah. The general well-being is that we should follow the rule, and the rules are made for orderly society. Okay. That's the first problem when I'm talking of the people standing up for something. The second point is that how many people that has been going on before I got there? People going in. That ignored it. People ignored it. The people way. the security ignored okay. it. Okay, one moment, please. Let me bring in uh, Peters. Uh, good morning, Peters. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Go ahead, please. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, Dr. Avayomi, I, I have known you for during the struggle of Nadeko. Yeah, thank Same you. Same time I know Turubu. Yes, thank you. But there is something that we must get clear here. Today I did not really agree with everything you said today. Yes, I always you agree have with a right to disagree. But I don't want to point that out because I will not take too much of your time. Yeah, yes. But I'll, let's come to the uh, Tunubu matter. Yes. Tunubu has a vision. The vision of Tunubu is what we see today in Lagos. Mm -hmm. What is the vision of Nigeria? Trouble. My pastor said yesterday, what is the vision of Nigeria? Trouble. Now, Tunubu struggle to bring out an opposition to unseat uh, 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 a government that has ruled off for 16 years. Thank you, good for Tunubu. But the people Tunubu managed to bring in, did they have the same vision with Tunubu? Why did they want this man to continue the same thing? Tunubu's vision is transforming Lagos see, today. If they had Tunubu's vision in Nigeria, at least for these first three years, Nigeria would not be talking like this. Yes, we understand the fact that Nigeria, everybody are running after money. Yes, it's the foundation. That is how our foundation is. The foundations are weakened. That's why people come for restructuring. Nobody wants to listen to the body. Fast it means this is our problem. We must go back to our root and arrest Nigeria. There's mm. no, even, doctor, even when you are there today, I can tell you people around you will corrupt the system and the whole thing will come on you. Mm. It's the Nigeria system. What is good? Uh, everybody that has come before is good. Our pastor has a dream. That is why he wanted to go for Tottenham not to see if he can make it right. Nobody has been able to make it right. But Tunubu made Lagos right. The dream of Tunubu is working in Lagos. Why can't the people of Tunubu brought to this country? Why can't they do the same thing? Why did they not want Tunubu to come back again? This man, before they let the man lost his personality before people like me. I love Tunubu. I respect him. I respect his intelligence and his smartness. But they are not getting it right. All because right, then. Thank, th th thank you, Peters. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you for you. calling in. I know there's a lot more there, and thank you for contributing what you did. Um, yeah, speaking about, you know, when you were speaking about Ashwaji Tinubu and, and the comments that he made, uh, there's a sense in which even President Buhari, he's known to have a reputation for frugality, mm -hmm. austerity, and all of that kind of a thing. Uh, so call that his vision, mm -hmm. a, a, a selfless kind of service. Mm -hmm. Now, how many of those around him which is probably the question you can ask in relation mm -hmm. to you know, this whole Tinubu question, I, you know, I have bought into that, which is the point that you were making. It will take time. It's important to appreciate. The development, the, 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 the underdevelopment of this country has been long-standing, deep-rooted, and vast. We are talking of something that began in 1960. Up until today, mm -hmm. We have not had a strong government that looks, look, it was a Henry D. Fee that said, this is the time of King, King Arthur, that said, this is the time of King Arthur when we should reach for the skies. Have we had that kind of leaders? 
we haven't. Yeah, because that would be bordering on a revolution of our consciousness in this country. Yes. That and would that, be bordering and on that. that. It will take time okay. to, uh, to bring about uh, that Mola, thank you for holding on in Oshobo. Good morning. Hello. Hello, Uncle Yari. Uh, good morning, sir. Dara Mola in Oshobo. Good. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Please go, please go ahead. All right. Um, I, I really want to appreciate Dr. Abayomi. Yes. And uh, Monk Yori, thank you for bringing him on board. <laughs> thank, th thank him for coming. <laughs> All right. So, I, sir, I, I think what, we are, what is happening now is that people are looking at the top. And, but, but we have failed... Okay, we have failed to see the smaller unit yes. that made that big ocean called Nigeria. Yes. I think we should start thinking how to orientate families to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. And that <laughs> graduates to the state yes. and also to the federal level. So I think corruption is, should be tackled from the family level. I mean, that smaller unit. Now, talking about the youth getting ready for governance or whatever we call it, sir, I think the problem again, sir, is most of the youths who are fighting for power now, we should ask their content what exactly they want. Someone like Dr. Abdiyomi is talking about how he contested and he got five honorable votes. Now, again, sir, the youths were there when he contested. Some of them knew his content. So they knew he was coming to do the state good, but he was never voted for. Because, because they listened, no because to they listened to their elders. I'm guessing. So I'm problem, guessing because sir, they listened to their elders. Okay. The problem, sir, is we Nigeria, the mind should be flushed before. <laughs> Because they didn't listen to okay. their minds. The, the, yes. the mind should be flushed. Okay. Before the road, the road in Nigeria is flushed. So every human being in Nigeria is averagely corrupt. That is the problem. Okay, I'm going to have to let I'm, go of you, Daramala. Thank you Monday. very much for calling in. Really appreciate your call because we do get your drift. We're trying to manage oh, the time so, so many, that everybody look, speaks. You see, you, you know, see, in our country, because when he's saying yeah. what he's saying, uh, the, the the part of the problem, I think President Basson John knows. In fact, he said it in one of his answers, answers that every well bred, every every well born and brought up Nigerian respects two things. He put it. Yeah age and authority, and he said he has both. Yeah. Um, uh, this whole youth, promoting the youth business, I don't think anybody wants to promote the youth so that they shall be independent thinkers. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so probably that they should continue to feather their own status quo. I'm just yeah, guessing. But, but that may also be the problem of the nation, respecting age and authority. Because that two ingredients tend to promote orthodoxy. I mean, you look at, okay. so, yes, look, I was at, uh, um, a, a few years ago, I was at Nikon, then it was Nikon, now Transcorp. I wanted to enter an elevator, and I was prevented from entering it. Because? By security, because I think at that time, a president of Senate mm -hmm. was entering. Mm -hmm. Large elevator. Mm -hmm. They were rather prefer that he enters alone. He alone. This is a man that is representing the people yeah, that yeah. I voted for. Yeah. So there's this attitude that you, we have, you, right? You, you respect authority, mm. age and authority. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have been practicing law for over 35 years. I've written three world, at least three world-class books. I've gone to jail three times. If I want to sit in front of the court, <laughs> they will say I should go to the back because... I didn't apply for SEN. Because you're not an SEN. Because I'm not an SEN. Mm. You understand what I mean? You, you go into the church. There was a time I was at the Villa Church when President Obasanjo was there. And all the ministers, they sat in front. And all the commoners sat at the back. Mm -hmm. And I said to the minister, ministers, 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 even in the house of God, you cannot sit in the midst of your own people. <laughs> One moment, please. Uh, Mr. Opara in uh, the Lekki, good morning. 
morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling so, in. I'm calling from VI. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, thank you for your program this morning. And thank you for bringing me to this <laughs> thank morning. You. Thank, thank you. Thank God to <laughs> thank uh, uh, Dr. Abayo for coming. There is a question I want to ask Mr. Abayo. Yes. Uh, during in your youthful age, have you seen the Nigeria of today? In your own youthful age? Yes. Have you seen this type of Nigeria we are practicing today my, in your own youthful age? My dear brother, my dear brother, there has never been a time it was easy. If you look at the artists, the songs, you know, okay. that goes back to the 70s. Or whatever. If You're you a high at life the, fan. If you look at the songs, the songs of the artists, you will see that there hasn't been I a time. I think that was Victor Laya. Yes. That, that one you just saw. Yes, yeah. you are talking of the 70s. And even before that, there hasn't been a time. That is it. But it's even much more difficult for the children of the poor. Much has always been difficult, but there hasn't been a type that it has been easy. It is only the human beings that we only create. It's like Karl Marx said, human beings make their lives. They make the choices and decisions. It is they that are capable of courage or cowardice, wisdom or folly. The choices. So are you saying that um, there are not too many courageous followers in Nigeria? If there are courageous followers, there will be more people who will say they won't pay delegates. Mm -hmm. For example. For example, who will influence other people? There will be people who will say they won't corrupt themselves, mm. like Buhari. If there are courageous yes. people. Yes. If there are courageous people, there are people who will vote for a man who stands for principle. If there are courageous people, there will be people who will be willing to sacrifice and endure. Do you know why the Western society succeeds? Because when a husband is going on a voyage, the wife will support him. Go ahead, I will mm -hmm. support you, mm -hmm. even though it's delicate. Mm -hmm. Because they take risks yes. to yes. improve yes. life. Yes. They now, take we, risks. It, this is the very, we want this, comfort. This is the exact opposite of what we do. Yes, we're always looking for comfort. And when Easy we want to take, way. And when we the, want to take a risk, it has to be a very, very highly look, calculated look, risk. Look at all the... If there is something that is bad right now that is going around. By, by one um, uh, a, a gentleman, uh, you know, it's changed so in how great men achieve. They look for problems and they make sacrifice to find solution. They don't pray for uh, easy, uh, oh, give me this, uh, or they, does their church celebrate, oh, somebody bring this money today. When a nation, I'm emphasizing, Yori, is more preoccupied, the people of a nation are more preoccupied with comfort. Instead of creating achievement through knowledge, which requires sacrifice, sweat, pain, struggle, in order to reach the mountain top, the nation never rises up. Look at the history of great nations. Yeah, but you see, I, I love the picture you're painting, Dr. Abayo, yes. of, 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 of the ideal state our nation should be. But you and I, and virtually all of our viewers uh, realize that it's the ideal. But I, I imagine all of us are still scratching our head. How are we going to get there? Because after all, at the end of the day, the biggest ideal, the holy books, the Quran, the, uh, the Bible, yeah. they've laid out the, all these. We, we infringe every hour yes. of every day. And we go to the mountain to pray. Yes. <laughs> you know? And we are revenging every hour of every day. <laughs> and perhaps we're not alone. Because yes. we, 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 we mustn't come and say Nigeria is what is. Exactly. Is so maybe the, of, it's, it's the human of, condition. Yeah, instead of finding a way to bring the mountain down to the valley, we would rather go to the mountain and pray. You know? So what? The, so the coalition, yes. uh, the co co coalition movement <laughs> on Nigeria, yes. uh, we need, we, we, I guess we have to wait and see yeah, how, right how high it will be able to jump. You know? I don't think it will jump very high. Is it the first time we will have coalition? <laughs> you understand what I mean? I have said it, how this nation will be great. I repeat again. The people of Nigeria must meet to agree on the terms of their relationship. I have said that again and, and again, again mm. and again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let us discuss. Let great ideas come. Uh, well, that's, In that's... America, 55, the Toquin, the French philosopher, said 55 great minds. They came together how to build 
People make sense. Look at Smithsonian Institute, Smithsonian Museum in, in, um, in Washington, one of the greatest museums, something what? ever invented by human beings. One man thought it is a great idea to preserve history yes. for future generations. Where are the it. great men and women in Nigeria? Uh, we have the Obasanjo Library Complex as the beginning. Well, it is a good idea. So, Dr. Tunji Abayomi, we got to leave it for now. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for coming on. Thank That's you. our program. Thank you. Thank you very much for being with us. And please join us tomorrow at half past 10 for a fresh edition of the program. I'm Yori Folare. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>